as it always happened that once the lady goes through this right there's always somebody a family waiting for her yes because of the dress and because of the fragrance they will feel mm. you may you they will come more than thousands Welcome back. Thank you for staying with us. This is Still People and Places and we are at the Paramount Queen Mother's Palace here in the Ada traditional area. We've been speaking to Numo Israel Kate Akwaku. He is the principal stool father of the Royal Kabiawe Yumu clan. And He's been telling us a lot. He told us about who the people of Adar are, their migration story, and a little bit about their culture. But there's more to learn, so we are speaking to another person. He is the prince of the Royal Kabiawe um, Yumu clan here in the Adar traditional area, and he is Ayiku Akwaku. Thank you for speaking to us. Thank you, too. Okay. So I'd like to start with the, matri the, the inheritance system of the Adans. Can you take us through which kind of inheritance system do you use? Matrilineal, patrilineal? Kayoke wa yo cheni nge Adan. Iti ni majesi nge cheni ye miyon nge Adan ji enone. So he is speaking the, their local dialect, which is the Dangbe language and he took us through what kind of inheritance system they use i understood just a little bit of that if i'm not wrong he was saying that the adam people inherit from the father's side they are patrilineal and i'm sure you read everything he said um in the sub headings down there so we'll continue we are talking about marriage now being a hybrid group of people how does marriage work here do you do you like to marry from the other groups that have joined for instance those with akan names those with ewe names or dangbis like to marry dangbis ewes like to marry ewes akans like to marry akans we have only i don't have 10 clan mm. and we have specific clan which is at the biawe have a link mm. with Kabia West. Originally, the, the chiefs, they believe that as we, the Kabia West are warriors, if they marry in Adibia as a first clan in Adan, they will give birth to all the warriors or the brave men. So mm -hmm. we have that, Kabia West have that link. And it's a tradition inherited by our forefathers. Okay. Is the only Kabiawe, but out of the remaining clan, you are free to marry anywhere. Okay, so the only exception is Kabiawe's not marrying Adibiawe's. No, Kabiawe's love, love to, to marry, marry Adibiawe's. Adibiawe's. Okay, yes, okay. to give birth to a, a, a chief or a royal. Okay, so aside that, all other clans intermarry. Yeah, they, they can no marry anyway. any, they are no any specialities yeah. okay and now moving from marriage let's go to naming because yeah. when you marry it's expected that children come in as and when they are gifted yeah. so the naming system here in Ada, what is it like naming system in Ada, we have female and male mm -hmm. let's say at the be our as i will name the 10 clans names uh, at the Biawe, we have Adi as a, a male child. Mm -hmm. We have Adiki as a female. 
and we have bue, buete as a male, we mm. have bueking as a female. Mm. We come to lomo biawe, we have lomo as a male, we have oge as a female, and we have lomoki as a female, mm. we have uh, mumblu as a male. Okay. We come to Tekwe Biawe. Uh, I will jump to uh, Lomo Biawe back. Mm. You see, Lomo Biawe have a connection with Tekwe Biawe. So Tekwe Biawe as a uh, clan don't name their firstborn, but Lomo Biawe names their firstborn male child Tekwe. Mm. But Tekwe Biawe, you have name like Kole as male, uh, Kole King as female. Okay, and but this, sorry to hold you, but yeah. this tekpe yeah. that you are talking about, is it the same tekpe we have in the ewe? The ewe ones is tekpe, okay. and this one is tekpe. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. In krobo. Right. Is krobo is the same. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And we have lo, uh, dangwe biawe. Mm. Dangwe biawe, we have olengete as a female, but today they have been brothelizing mm -hmm. or they have been calling the name as uh ulete ulete but the thing is ulengete okay as a female we have ulengeki and as a ulengeki as a female mm. we have agbashi as a male we have bagbe as a female okay so we come to kabia where all the three kabia west have similar names but specific kabia yumu have specific names so i'll start from kabia yumu Kabia Yumu, we have the oldest name among the three Kabia, who is called Ayiku. Mm. It's the oldest name. Ayiku is a male. And Kabuki is a female. And Kate is a male. And uh, Kaki is a female. Okay. And we have Asetewa in Kabia Yumu. And Asetewa is a female. And Asente is a male. You won't find Asente and Asentewa in any uh, uh, Kabiawe. Asente yeah. sounds like Asantewa. Yeah. Asan Asante and Asantewa. Yeah. Okay. So uh, Ohini too is a male and uh, Ohiniwa is a female in Kabia Yumu. So mm -hmm. Kabiawe too, we have Adede is mm -hmm. a female. We have Kate, male. We have uh, Kaki female and we have uh, Akrofi male. Mm. So you come to Kogbo or Kujiragbe and uh, Omo, they have, some of them have the similar names. They are also are the three uh, airway groups. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we have Kise, in Kogbo we have Kise as a male, mm -hmm. we have Mane as female and we have a good day as male, and we have a uh, wudu or Monday as a female. Mm. So you come to Kujiragwe, Kujiragwe to have uh, Chachu as a female, we have uh, Ogbo as female. Mm. So you come to Ohonwe, to Kujiragwe and Ohonwe have a similar names. Ofwechu is a male. We have uh, Ogbo, a female. We have Saki, a female. And we have Saki Bia. We have Saki, a, a male. Mm. And we have Saki Bia, a female. female. So okay. that joined our Dan names out of the 10 clans. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah. But is it is it possible that, I mean, every clan and its name, but is it possible that I can be in um, maybe Kujragbe and decide to name my child with a prefix from another clan? Yes. And then we have something called Nyekobi Chekobi. Mm. And Nyekobi Chekobi means your aunties and your uncle's daughter, mm. children. Sometimes your great grandfather or your great grandmother have done something to a, a, a specific clan, they can decide to name your grandfather's name in a different clan. Mm. Let's say if 
Lomobi have done something to Kabia Weyumu. Kabia Weyumu can decide to name somebody Lomo. Mm. Yes. Okay. So Tekpebia We and Lomobia We have some very good connection. That means you will see a clan called Tekpebia We, you won't see the name Tekpe in that clan. Mm. You will get the name Tekpe, Tekpe in Lomobia We. Okay. That's the only secret. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So from naming, we know that the next right is puberty rights. Yeah. Do Dalmis or do the other people um, celebrate or mark or go through the Krobo, the Depo rights, like the Krobos or the other Dangmi groups? Yeah. Yes, all the clans in Adan, they mm -hmm. have some specific clans who have a similar things or similar uh, purification before going to, to marriage. Mm. Especially Tekwebiya where like this have 13 gates and one of the gates called uh, Sega. Mm. They have a similar depot. But in Adan, to get married, in the olden days we have a specific customs to perform. We call it uh, Umapo Okoma. Umapo Okoma. Adan here is called Okoma. Mm. It's like uh, Oko town. Mm -hmm. So they will dress you as. At first, you see the lady who came here and they were charming to dress in a. They attire their. This thing, kente. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they will. Where you, you. They will let you attire that kente and put on bees in your. Your, uh, in your here. hand. And hands your and your leg. Mm, mm. So if you are ready for marriage, they will dress you and put on different type of soaps and lavender powder and mm, things. Mm. So they will let you, you'll be changing, you'll be going around telling the men or telling the people in the town ready, okay. but they will be singing some song. Yo, 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 yo is woman, woman. Mm -hmm. Yo, yo, yo. Your twist of is just me. They will wear a very nice things in their uh, ears mm. and they will tight their hair very nicely. So they will say, You a twist of is a woman who have something in uh, her uh, yes. ears. Yes. Okay. So you are malefic kind of like if you stand on something. You just bust the thing. Like if you need, like the the real meaning is, it's a veggie. Mm -hmm. So if you marry this lady, mm -hmm. you just break the virginity. Okay. So that's they will, you'll be like let's say from your place here to that place, you uh, she will go and change and wear a different dress or mm -hmm. attire different clothes and come here again. Up to the last day. She will, they will, the family will send her to the, the village square, from the village square to the market square. After the market square, the immediately will come back to the house. There is a man or there will be a family coming to come and knock on your oh, door. Oh, okay. So that's the... Is it always the case? Always. That, is it always, does it always happen that once the lady goes through this right, there's always somebody, a family waiting for her? Yes, because of the dress and because of the fragrance they will feel, mm. you may, you, they will come more than thousands. So the first person or the first person to introduce the big, uh, the, come introduce himself as a big farmer, as a big fisherman, as a big uh, uh, wrestler, mm. they will give it to you. So it's up to the family of the girl to decide yes. that. Okay, but how many days? You said the lady changes several times to do this before she's sent to the market square. Yes. So how many days does it take for her to par parole around in her different regalia? Exactly three weeks, which is 21 weeks. days. Okay. So for every day within the three weeks, she's she's changing and yes. she's going around. So they will handle that lady, or they will hold in high ST. Okay. She won't do anything. She she uh, her friends her sisters will be helping her. Hmm. Uh -huh. So serving, teaching, her teaching her how to cook, how to do everything. You are now going to your husband's place. Hmm. So those things are today. They will say counseling. Okay. Counseling that time is if you go to the town and come back, 
they will just tell you, you see this man, you see the chest of this man, this man can even destroy you, or this man can do this, this man is a lazy. Mm. They will teach you all those things okay. for you to be prepared to go to your husband's place. Okay, right. Yeah. So at which age does this start, the puberty right? For at, first, girl? at first, hey, we don't have specific age, but let's say from 25 going. Okay. At first, you may not see early uh, marriage just like that. Mm. But from let's say 20, 30 years, if the lady is prepared to marry. Mm. You see, they have the olden days, they have some specific signs the mother or the grandmother of that lady will be seen. So they will just tell you, you are ready for marriage. Mm. For you not to abuse the tradition or for you not to spoil the tradition. Mm. They will just tell you, this is the time for you to marry. So you see, we can't cheat nature. So nature too help them to do that. Okay. So this is similar to the depot rights, but it's not the depot rights. Yes. So what's the name for your puberty rights? We call it uh, Okoma Pomi. Okoma Pomi. Yeah. Okay. Okoma is the, uh, the uh, Oko towns. Mm. And Pomi is like going around Okoma. Okay. Yeah. So it's literally from the activity you engage in. Yes. Going around yes. during yeah. the period. Okay. Okay. But one curious question uh, before we go, we wrap up for this particular episode. Has it always been the case that the ladies dress covering their, their, their breasts? Because you know, in the past with the depot puberty rights, some ladies expose their breasts. It's part of the tradition. Has it always been the case for the Adam people? No. In uh, that time, in Adam here, mm. you already see the chest, but you don't see the breast. Okay. And you see the back. And you see the, the last one is the... Uh, the knee. The, the, okay. the, 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 the thigh. Okay. For it to attract you to come and see more. Mm. That's why. And they will, if the lady don't have back cloth, they have something called pongo. They will dress your back. They will put something in your back. Okay, clothes. Your back will be very... A little... Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. okay. Right. Thank you so much, Aiku, yeah. for speaking to us. He, like I said, he's the uh, prince of the royal Kabdeweyumu clan. And he has been telling, he's been educating us a little bit more about the culture of the Ada people. Earlier we heard from Numo Ijoakate Akwaku. And so that's how we wrap up this episode of People and Places on Ghana Web TV. You know how we do it with this history um, episodes. We are going to talk about a different, uh, we are going to look at a different topic in the next episode so you don't want to miss this because this is a, a very educative series my name is wanda ami eduasari thank you for staying with us we'll see you next time <laughs>